What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies Jesse and Mike. How's it going? What's going on? Guys, we're going back to The Leftovers. That's right. We're on Season 3, Episode 4. Good day, Melbourne. <laughs> Good day, Melbourne. I can't do Australian accent. English I can do, but Good Australian. Day. Good day. Good day. Good day, Good day. Good day yeah. Melbourne. Anyway, uh, <laughs> guys, so, yeah, four, we're, we're four in, four to go. And still that's have it? so many questions. Yeah, yeah it's only eight. We only get eight this season. Oh, that's strange. All and right, and it's done. I didn't even realize. See I that? don't know. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, like my, my wife and I watched it, and and she's like, I now have more questions than when we started again. She's like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I know. Yeah. I know. So what happens in this one? All right. So this one, Kevin and Nora uh, travel to Australia, where uh, Nora continues to track down the masterminds of an elaborate con. So she thinks. While Kevin catches a glimpse of an unexpected face from the past, forcing him to confront the traumatic events of three years earlier. Kind of verbose, but hitting nails, some nails on some heads with some hammerheads. Yes. Um, whoever, so Hammer whoever, whoever and, and I pulled that from IMDb, so wherever they're getting that from, they're pretty spot on on that. Um, yeah, so yeah. Uh, let's just, I mean, let's just get into it, man. Let's, I mean, so there's a lot of, a lot of stuff kind of happens here. Again, like Mike, you were saying earlier that Kevin and Nora they get there and they split. So yeah. Ke- you see, Very what's quick, funny right. is Kevin doesn't know what's like what he's gonna do there. Nora's like, I'm. She gets the call like right after they get there, and she's like, All right, I'm out. I'm going. He's like, Okay, whatever. I guess I'll yeah. just read this book about me. And then he sees uh, Evie on the TV. Yeah, I, I, you know. My my big thing from from the beginning of this was obviously Nora had every intention on on uh, fulfilling her mission and leaving potentially and departing wherever this journey would would bring her. You really think though that you know? that she? Yeah, spe- yeah, because yeah. Um, number do, one, do, she lied. Jesse? She lied about it being an investigation, and 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 Kevin saw through that right away. Yeah, um, he was asking her all these questions, and he was trying to catch her in some lies about everything. But yeah, I totally felt, especially, you know, in the end when we find out, uh, after her meeting that she didn't get the opportunity, we saw how desperate she was and, um, you know, uh, how she really, how she really wanted this. And she even brought up Lily, you know, with, uh, in the hotel room when they were arguing. She's Kevin like, you her. wanted, you wanted me to give her away. Right. She said, to him. Did, yeah. And he's like, you didn't even give me a fucking, you didn't even ask me. Yeah, you, you know just I mean? did so it. You just went and fucking did it. Was, yeah. So I think that she never, ever, um, I don't think it's a big shock, but I don't think she ever um, was uh, got over her she's, children. Yeah, she's, she's so gone. More, she's much, gone. She's lost. Her. She's oh. gone. Ke- and, 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 and obviously Kevin's, you know, it's a shame because normally they'd probably get along real well, but the only reason why they're together is because they both have these damn issues, but they're both hiding them from each other. They don't. They don't confide. They don't really confide in each other because I don't think they know how to. So they're just kind of like, well, I'm doing my thing. You're doing your thing. And we're we're together. But like this guy's kind of like an awkward relationship, right? We're coexisting separately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think. Yeah. I mean, the the, another thing was, too, um, how she doesn't believe Kevin is who he is. No, she's not at all. She doesn't believe that shit at all. Because remember when she said, um, did you even read the book? And he said he lied to her, saying that he read it on the plane. She's like the whole thing, and she even read a passage yeah. of the well just to test him because he didn't read the book at that time. But he knows it though. He doesn't have he to read the damn book. He, he knows it. That he exactly. lived it. No, she doesn't know that he lived it. That's why she tested him on the passage. Oh, well, that's true. Like, yeah. What comes next? Yeah. And then finally, when we see him alone in the room after Nora left. We see him pick up the book and start from page well, one. Yeah, because he he was like, I guess I'll read it. That's what I'm saying, and that's yeah. when he saw that's when the, the TV went on or some shit, it's, right? Yeah, oh, it's yeah. it's just um, I mean, we got um, you know, last week with just the Kevin episode, the Kevin Senior episode. This was kind of very similar in the fact that it only stuck to a couple of you know a couple well, of the characters until the end. Yeah, you know? like building up, building up, building up everybody's characters, and then those final couple episodes are probably just gonna be like boom, everybody together, or or maybe not. You know, um, yeah. I, I want I want to talk about like a bunch of different things now. So like, uh, what, so you want to stay on Kevin? You want to go to Nora? Because I have some. Yeah, go go- whatever you want. It doesn't matter. So I mean, let's go back to let's go back to Nora then real quick because 
I, you gotta feel bad for her because she had another bad day. Like this woman, this is like the third bad day she's had on this so far. You know, yeah. second or third, like real bad day. The first was when she, you know, saw Lily again and and then talked and then she saw Erica and talked to her about the tattoo, you know, and then like um and oh in season two, remember she she had a real she had um what happened? I don't forget I forget what happened, but she comes home like looking for someone to comfort her. And she, Bay, can you put that on um vibrate? <laughs> Thanks. She uh she comes home, remember, and she's looking. There's no one home, and then and then Kevin walks in, and he goes, um, "I'm seeing dead people." Like she doesn't even have a chance to like decompress and, and like confi- like talk to someone else. So she's constantly dealing with his shit all the yeah. time. And then again, she comes back into the into the hotel room, like wanting to like I guess like talk or, or no. He actually he came back. She was already like flipping out. He comes in he's and he and he lays his shit on her again. Yeah, he's like, oh, I saw whatever, whatever was whatever he said, you know. So it's like I kind of feel bad for her. She she doesn't really have an outlet. They both don't though. Right, they right. Both, they don't. Because yeah. Kevin even says, Kevin says, listen, we don't, you know, we we can't like communicate. You know what I mean? They never, we never really. I mean, we saw a couple scenes uh, throughout throughout um, them being together where they they're having a you know the the dinner and they're and they're talking about a, a possible yeah, like baby so or anything. Little, they never they were never on the on the same page. It was probably more of like a lust thing. Maybe they saw potential in a relationship together for for helping them both. Right. But she has she has her demons. He has his demons. Um, he's apparently immortal. It's, it's a, yeah, it, it's spilled over, and obviously, um, by the end of the episode, I guess we can all agree. Maybe you know, he's just like, "Fuck it, I'm out." You know, he didn't even turn around; he just walked out of that hotel room. Yeah, he, and I think yeah. they're both super fed up. Um, but I'm um, I'm excited she, to see what's gonna happen. You yeah. know, in Australia, Jesse, what do you think? You you said you you think that she wants to, she wants to leave. All right. Well. There's two things. One, they both agreed in the beginning of season two, if you'll remember, uh, in the flashback to before they left for Jarden, yeah. that they're both screwed up, so why not be screwed up together? Right, right, so yeah. That's the only thing keeping them together is because they're both so screwed up, they need someone to, you know, yeah. be Might with. as well be screwed up together than screwed up alone, right? Exactly. Uh, I still think she's probably going to get departed. Oh, departed. Get departed, yeah. Yeah, uh, because we, we talked about it, uh, Chris and I, beforehand. She answered yes to the question the guy in the desert answered no to. Yeah, it's, it's, if you don't remember, and the guy in the desert very, killed himself yeah. because he said, you know, he said the question. He said they would never no. chill, kill a child yeah. or whatever, right? But yeah, she yeah, but said yes, and they still remember, said no. Remember what she said um, about the woman on at by the bus stop? She said that that was a test. She was te- it, was that a it, right? test? They denied it. You know, they said no. You're maybe in maybe this was still a test. Maybe you're never first. Um, maybe you're never you never get in right away like this. Maybe. Well, that's by, yeah. That's by a- her fleeing after them. You know, after they they give her the bad news. Yeah. Maybe it's still part of this test. Maybe it that's... wasn't just laying a box. Um, answer a couple mm-hmm. questions. Let's check out your heart. Um, exactly they wanted I mean? to see they so wanted to see her reaction continuation of things yeah, yeah. so no matter so, what answer it was and that's the theory going around also is that whatever yeah. they whatever they said whoever answer whatever you answer doesn't matter they're going to deny you and then we'll see how, what happens after that i mean if you yeah. think about it they got to vet these people you know dude every many 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 people just want to fucking leave they just they're they're either killing themselves killing other people or they, you know they just want to leave they they, they that's want the to thing though she answered the same way even after being denied that she wanted to go. Yeah. Unlike the guy who went and killed himself. Right. Well, that's my whole point. So, like, but, the, I mean, I get the vetting process. Like, of course yeah. they have to figure out. Like, they, you know, they, they, I, I get it. Well, I get it. I mean, what, Do if, I like if, it? Right, no, put, put, but I get put it. it. This, put it this way. If there was only, if there was only one, one right answer, if it was yes, yeah. you know, you would kill the child or not, they would be letting people in 50% of the time. You know probably. what I mean? Yeah, so probably. that's why I don't think that it's just this, that there's more to this test. Well, right, yeah. This is only the beginning for her. And I can agree with Jesse by saying I think she can definitely um, depart or go or fulfill the mission um, because it doesn't look like her and Kevin obviously are on the same page, like we said. And and she has nothing else. You know, she doesn't have Lily anymore. 
she has no family technically um and you know i can see her going you know i can definitely see her fulfilling it something i like and it brings a call back to what i said last week the one scientist says that they could be just floating out in space like i said last week that is true. That is true. I, I thought about that. I thought about you, Jess, when she said that. I was like, oh, fuck. Jesse said that shit. Yeah, well, didn't she say, um, I don't remember, I could be wrong, but didn't they say that there were um, some people that that came back? Because they, no, they nobody never, came back. No one, no came one back. ever no, came yeah, back. No. So truthfully, they just They don't like, know where they are. Of course they, they don't, don't know, know where yeah. they are. Some of the doctors that created the process left. And she said don't... it was the second person. I yeah. think the doctor that invented it yeah. was the second person to go. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It, it's 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 strange, dude. I mean, you want to get into a little bit of Kevin and what we think about him seeing Evie? So, I was we uh, we were like, oh damn it! Like she, I was like, I I didn't think that was her. I just I didn't because we saw her die. Like they they didn't get away from that. They didn't get away from that. Like I believe that that was it, and then although we have seen people die and come back before, yeah, I I know, I know, but I just didn't get that that was her. So I was like waiting for the the punchline. I'm like, what is this? What is this? And the fact that she kept yeah. talking with the accent, he's like, why do you keep talking with the accent? And and then all of a sudden she's looking, and then I was thinking I'm like, oh my god, it's not her. It's gonna be he's having some type of episode. So he has an episode. Look, so he calls Lori and 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 everything. And it's kind of fucked because. I don't know, like, do you guys believe it? Do you guys believe that he's having an episode? Like, what is... Th- I'd like to think that he's he's uh, become sane in a way after after Patty and, and that whole, and that whole um, deal, you yeah. know, about him having to technically kill her and push her down a well and, to, you know, do all these missions and things on the other side. But um, I don't know for... Could there be something about Australia that's bringing these like ticks back, these these visions back? Um, but possibly. she wasn't a dead person; it was an actual no, person that he but projected we don't, onto. We don't necessarily know if they died in this drone strike to begin with. Technically, in okay, real, but do you believe real... it? Do you believe it? I believe it. Jesse, do you believe it? Do I believe that, that they died in the strike? That Evie's dead and they died in the strike. Yeah, yeah I believe it, Mike. You think? I mean, I, I think I'm on the fence with it. So you're I not think sure. I can see it go both ways. Okay. No, okay. Yeah, I, I think I can see it go both ways. Um, you know, like I was saying, I think there could be something with Australia that's maybe bringing this out of him right. if he's not really seeing her. I mean, after, I don't I mean, think he's crazy. Lori, yeah, no. But I mean, after the Lori phone call and her doing her research and tracking down the real Evie, yeah. you know, that works at this library and stuff like that, she made sense to what she was saying to to Kevin. Well, it makes know? perfect sense. I, but I, you I never think, know. Yeah, I mean, could they I think throw he's... her back in? Yes. Can yeah. they not? Can it be a drone strike killing them all? Yes. I mean, but I can see it. I'm on the fence. All right. So, yeah. so. Let's talk about the last two things that that went down. He leaves her. He 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 gives her that whole speech, like like you said. He, you didn't even fucking tell me you were gonna give the kid back. You didn't ask me. You did. You just did what you wanted to. You always do what you wanted to do. Blah blah blah. He's like, I'm I'm out of here. Uh, he burns the book. The book. That was crazy. Walks out, and all of a sudden, there at the end, there um, he sees his dad. His dad shows up and says, yeah. "Oh, we, you know, we can't get out of here. There's no, you know, there's the, what about the, the ex- explosion?" Grounded, yeah. And he's looking, he's looking up behind him. He's like, "But there wasn't an explosion." Like, and I'm sitting there going, "There wasn't an explosion." Oh, yeah. What happened? So now we're like, that's, "What the fuck is that's going the on? big mystery?" You know, what that's the, the big mystery. On? So it must it must have been something that went on while they were in there talking uh, in the hotel room still. You know, exactly. For, uh, exactly. So, um, I. I, I mean, I, I think we I think we covered most of this. I have a question that I'm going to pose to you guys, or or more yeah. of a more of an observation. But is there anything else that we want to add to that? No, I. I oh, oh, how about? Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. My my big thing is about the end. I think that's probably the most important thing that we've gotten from this whole episode is the fact that while you know, uh, you know, Kevin and and Nora were arguing, something, something went, went on, down. something yeah. big, yeah. and um. When Kevin leaves and sees the bellhop or whatever it was 
uh, immediately the bellhops like there are no taxis because of the explosion. Um, Kevin Senior says, you know, this is like you said, with the flights all being grounded. I want to know what the fuck happened. Yeah. Is it another drone strike? Would it be mm. funny if it was a drone strike and Kevin seeing Evie, who obviously died in a drone strike? Could there be a link to all this? So I think that um, by being in Australia, there's, there's something big about this place. Well, obviously, I mean, that's why Kevin Sr.'s there. He was led there because the, he the, he thinks that that's... But even more so you know, with now yeah, no, I, Kevin yeah, being there be. and Nora being there. And the here. future. Could, we saw the future. Yeah. This could or be well, a repercussion of him burning his Bible. What happened? Or it could be a repercussion of him burning his Bible. Oh, my God. That's true. Yeah. See? Yeah, that's true, too, Jess. That's Didn't a good even idea, think too. about that. Oh, shit. You know? Well, let's keep that up on the front because that might be something, yeah. too. Um, Definitely. Shit. And don't forget, he, he said to Lori, ask John about the book he's writing about me. And that was it with their phone call, right? Yeah, like she's mm-hmm. like, what? And, and, of course, he's in there going, what is going on? And, he, oh, my God, that's going to be fun. Um, All right. Here's an observation, all right? Mm. Kind of a question, whatever. Um, I to me, they're already they're already they're already gearing up for the end. Meaning they've already started calling the cast. Okay, so we 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 like for example, Erica. We're done. We we're done with her. We know where she's at. She settled someplace. The kids, the daughters in college. Michael. He's kind of he's still in the picture a little bit, but now maybe not because everyone's gonna be in Australia. You know, yeah. like, wait, does he go to Australia, Michael? Uh, no, he's in. He he's does. still. He's John still... does though, doesn't he? Yeah, I believe John. John goes and Australia. Matt go. Does Laurie? Can't remember. I'm trying to remember the preview. Anyway, they're you see how they're pulling some of the characters out already, and they're yeah. making everyone leave that air that town, and and it's going to be in Australia. So I assume it's going to end in Australia. Don't know how it's going to end, um, but my wife has a theory, and she's like, "Oh, great, great." She's like, how are they going to end this? They're not going to tell us anything, and it's just going to be like a dog sing- sitting in a high chair eating food or something. So, you know, like that's yeah. how they're going to end it. It's just going to be some dumb shit. We're all going to be like, what? I think that, the, I mean, I mean, look at how HBO left off Sopranos, so I wouldn't doubt it. But Wait, but don't tell uh, me because I'm still going through Sopranos, and I haven't, I actually haven't seen the end. No. Sopranos? I never finish it, and now we're, we're on season what? two. Hold hold on, last season. On, Shut on, up. We're, we're fin- we're hold on. Hold on. Out of the two guys that are from New York, one hasn't seen it. The guy from Florida slash has seen it. I can't believe that, dude. It, I, 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 I didn't have HBO <laughs> at the time that it finished, so I just never got a chance. Wow. To, All right. You know. So I'm sorry. So we're at the end the... of the, we're at the end of season. It's six A and six B, and we're at the end okay. of season six A. There's yeah. like te- there's twelve <sighs> episodes in that, and then another nine, wow. I think, at the that, end of that. So we're on like. Yeah, so we're That's we're at the fine. end. We're getting there. We're almost there. We're gonna finish that. So. All right. Well, to finish my point quickly, I'm sorry about spoiling it and maybe my, right. my the sound of my fucking dog going nuts in the background. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I can I can see it going a couple different ways with Australia. Is it gonna be more like a Jordan, like a miracle thing where Australia is the only place left, or yeah, yeah. or or will it be the 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 only place that is destroyed? You know, um, and the rest of, you know, I don't know. I mean, no, it's, man. it's it can crazy. go so many ways and I don't necessarily have one. So wait, let's not speculate. Let's wait till at least we get yeah. to like the second to last episode and then we can speculate. It's going to be more. good yeah. though. I'm excited to yeah. see what it's happens. It's fun. It's, Theory here. Another one. What if we have two separate identical earths and the only difference is the people from earth a think the people that departed there departed yeah and, then and the, the people from earth b think that the others departed I, and in rea- actuality they just split between the two alternate realities yeah That's, i i i that too. Uh, i'm down with that Jesse's theory. on fire tonight. yeah i i yeah i can i told you it's like that show the sparticle <laughs> project that like that kid that british That's, show that- yeah, where that the, would where be. the parents all went to a different anyone older than 25 went to a different dimension mm. like a different no plane. They went to a different plane of, of existence. They yeah. were in the same dimension on different planes. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but you know who knows? The writers know. But we'll find out. But soon do they enough. really? Maybe they don't. They you know? better. Unless it was like Lost, <laughs> where they had where they had Four the first and last left. season set, and they just had to figure out how to get there. You know. Yeah. Um. Anyway, 
I think that's, I mean, that's probably yeah. more, but uh, we know you guys will let us know in the comments what you guys thought about it and your theories. And um, yeah, just let us know what you're thinking of this, of this show. And, uh, you know, I hope you're enjoying it like we are, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Don't forget to uh, check us out on uh, all the social medias, of course, at Third Person Pod on YouTube. Like Chris said, write your little theories, write your ideas. We love uh, hearing from you guys, and we'll try to answer as much as we can to uh, to the comments also. Um, don't forget we're on iTunes. You can listen in on that. Of course, Instagram and Facebook. Don't be shy. Okay. Write your comments yeah. and write your ideas. Say hello. And, uh, yeah, keep keep watching. Thanks for all the, all the support. Get on it. Yeah. Go check out um, uh, my other podcast, Retro Squat. You go to RetroSquat.com or at Retro Squat on Twitter. It's a cool uh, retro type of podcast where we take properties from the 80s and we kind of mash them together from different genres. It's fun. So go check it out. And as always, ComicBlitz.com. Third Person Pod is your promo code. Three months, three bucks, buck a month. There you go. And the Game of Thrones Houses video this week, which is Lannisters, is going to be late gonna be late oh damn you leave him alone <laughs> damn you i will say i am i'm really liking these backgrounds now that we all got our backgrounds going i'm really liking it it's pretty cool yeah, i do too i don't thank my wife for saying hey you guys should put colors in behind you guys because jesse has green thank you thank you Wendy. honestly i didn't even think about the green being part of the color told scheme. You she was watching our videos <laughs> she's like you guys should put color behind you guys and, and and then i told you guys and we were like yeah all right we can do yeah. that yeah all right and I was late to the game. But anyway, guys, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, let us know what you guys think. And we will definitely see you on the next episode of The Leftovers. So until then, peace out.